live, grand rising from Miami, beautiful Miami. Pray everyone is doing well. We're gonna tap into Scalar and Nature part two because we didn't get to finish uh, the other one last time. And yeah, guys, I'm happy to answer. I love interacting. And your questions also help other people as well, not just yourself, but it's helping others. And that's the point of this whole social media. Like, what's the point of us utilizing it if we're not building, if we're not connecting in terms of deeper truths or just trying, you know, helping to improve each other? That's so important, right? So someone saw me blasting, uh, let's see. So I was blasting this person. And we'll, we'll go over testimonials later. But um, I just want to make it make a point that all everything scalar comes with the scalar and breath journey for a reason. You know, it always I'm gonna go back to uh, the previous live real quick, just real quick. So we get some context. So someone was asking about can scalar treat depression, anxiety, technically, yes, right. But the main point is to utilize your breath, utilize your body, utilize, utilize movement. And these products amplify the whole human experience, right? And we have one person here that already does the breath work, already does um, Qigong and Qigong and all those movements. And, and look at his testimony. He said that I've been using it consistently. I've been use, utilizing it consistently for a very long time, and now I'm at the point where some of these things that are man-made doesn't affect me. And this is, go check, out, go check out his Instagram for yourself. This is someone that is already on the path and is utilizing this because, you know, the same thing applies with our, our ancestors. Our ancestors were utilizing certain technologies to amplify their practices. What's your crown made out of? gold and copper if you want more info it's on the biohacking page go to pyramids so yeah these tools are not you know the end-all be-all I'm not saying that these tools are to amplify what we are and to combat certain certain things that are quote-unquote man-made that is not in harmony with our body right and to much respect to the Qigong, Qigong community or people who um, unfortunately are trapped in certain dogma. Because personally, when I look at modern Qigong and especially when it's when it come to the West, in my opinion, it's it's watered down. They, they don't even even in most Qigong practices, they don't even talk about the power of clapping, just simply clapping and specifically doing it next to a tree. Because you understand that the tree holds a certain vibration and also the time. You know, certain things like these, little things like these are not talked about in at least the modern Qigong or Qigong or however you want to describe it. None of these things are talked about as much because to me they've been watered down to the point where you don't even hear stories of how in the national Qigong community and Qigong community, Scalar was actually inducted out of an actual teacher, an actual uh, master or whatever, Scalar is the only item specifically that's been inducted into the hall of, of Qigong because the monks and people who are aware say that this is fulfilling a, a certain prophecy. I don't know what that prophecy in, entails, but at least it's helping. They know the power of Scalar because it's not, it's not nothing new. It's actually ancient and Let's dial into the ancient uh, specificity. Does this temple have oh, something to do with energy? As we walk towards the main chamber, you can feel the energy, the vibration rising inside you. Is it just an irrational feeling? If you look up, you can see this advanced carving that looks quite similar to a modern day generator or even an arc reactor. What do you think of this one? This is made differently. It's not the same as the previous one. Now, what about this carving? What do you think? What about this one? Are these just fancy, meaningless patterns? Come on. Why do they resemble modern technology? Did ancient builders use 
advanced tools and weapons. Hello. And when we look at certain Sumerian texts, like, come on, they, <laughs> they knew. There's a reason why they were playing with um, the earth and the electromagnetic field coming from the earth and then sticking it part of and connecting it with their bodies. Why is that? Why do they use certain metals? Because it's conductive and it amplifies what the earth is giving off. That's the point. That's one of the points, in my opinion, of why pyramids were built. Because just the shape alone, even if you don't believe in electricity or the pyramids having electricity, just the shape alone helps the environment and the, the scalar impulse coming from that specific shape. Just the shape alone beyond the mechanisms that goes with it. That's the shape alone. Because so, someone also asked me about what does structures have to do with scalar energy? So the more something is boxed in, the less disharmony it has on the body. That's why it's so important to utilize these products or utilize specific uh, feng shui uh, procedures in your home and corners, specifically corners. Place a crystal in every, in every corner and within two weeks, tell me how you sleep. That's one simple thing you can easily do. Powerful. So utilizing these tools while you do your Qigong practices, while you do your yoga practices, let's, let's not beat cross the bush or play spiritual bypassing because you want, you, you want to talk about these practices, right? What are you wearing while doing these practices? Are you wearing that spandex made of, of um, nylon or fabric that is not in harmony with the body? Are you, are you wearing those tight yoga pants that is made out of polyester that is technically plastic and, and uh, petroleum? You know, is, is that benefit for the body? Let, let's, let's be real here. Let's get real with ourselves. Let's harmonize with the, the reality of, of what is going on here and stop spiritually bypassing and just say that, oh, since I do this, I don't need this, or I act this way or that way. I mean, you're communicating. I could have easily said, you could have easily sent a telepathic communication and not comment. So why do you need a phone to comment your comment? In the Tao, it says that there is no such thing as telekinesis, pyrokinesis. All things are seen. All things are, are one. All things are in balance with each other, right? There is no such thing as aerokinesis, pyrokinesis. The same about like this. I'm breathing right now. Aerokinesis. Oh, I, I'm hearing the thoughts in my head. Oh, telekinesis. You think your thoughts are your own? No, the brain is a receiver. So technically, we're not creating the thoughts because again, nothing can be quote unquote created nor destroyed, right? So what are we doing here? We're receiving and transmuting. Oh, I have heat in my body. Oh, fire, pyrokinesis. Aha. Oh, I can move earth. Oh, hence I can move my body because my body is made up of everything on earth. It's all here. <laughs> it's all here. <laughs> there's your aerokinesis. There's your pyrokinesis. You know, just because one thing looks like, oh, I can move this with my mind, a physical object, blah, blah, blah. Well, aren't you moving your body with your mind? Can you, can you see your mind right now? It's not even your brain. It's, it's something else. Can you see stress? Can you see any of that? Yeah, if you want to dive deeper than that book, Alchemy Breathwork. That book is elementary. But it's, hey, it's a great, it, it's a great intro for nasal breathing, don't get me wrong, right? So we gotta stop putting things in a box. Can you imagine doing all these yoga poses, Qigong poses in an active scalar field that once was in those ancient places? Can you imagine that place being on? Jeez, it's, it's electric. <laughs> and and you know, with the scalar movement and breath, I'm gonna be uploading some stuff. But you know, just by doing qigong movement while utilizing this, while blasting your hand, you can really feel more of the energy. Actually, when I was at the expo, uh, Rekea, if she if she's on here, I might actually let me see if I can 
invite her on here. You know, while we were doing that at the expo, I was blasting her hands, right? And Rakea, she is very, very gifted. Uh, with but, um, it's, hopefully she's not too busy. So I blasted her hands, right? And she, I already knew she was already gifted with her hands. Technically, in my opinion, she does Reiki, but it's another form. They don't call it Reiki, something else. But when I blasted her hands and then she put her hands over, over me, her hands, I'm like, oh, wait, my hands are activated a lot faster than, you know, normal different routes you would do to activate your hands. And I'm like, wow, I can actually feel the energy coming off her hands. And I was like, Jen, come over here. You got to feel her hands. So, you know, utilizing this in your Reiki practices, utilizing this in your breathing practices, why not? Why not? Is that car healing you to get from point A to point B to your practices or whatever right like let, let's let's stop spiritually bypassing or let's stop putting things in a box saying that oh my qigong practices can do that well why not add this if it helps as we say in the Tao Te Ching you know ain't uh with you know people with wisdom of old would 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 accept if something can help they would utilize it they would amplify it and that is the alchemy of life. You're not, you're not ignoring the progression aspect because progression comes in many different sides and, and facets. What's your take on the EE systems with Jason Shukra? To me, it could be more expansive because I've already been to their seminars and stuff, but they're not, they're not, um, you know, they're not looking at the global outreach. But I, I personally am looking at the global outreach. I'm not limiting it to specific facilities and charging people over 15 grand just for one device. You know, I want this to be in schools. I want this to be in as many homes as possible. You know, I want this to be in many different communities as possible. I think that's super important to have. I wanna play this real quick. And we're going to go into the nature part. Yeah, let's tap into the nature part because that was the main point of uh, th this whole, <laughs> yeah, it's 20K. It doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't need to be 20K. Um, and it's not like you could actually program it and be specific as well. That's the part I don't like. But here's the other thing. Um, there is one per there's a few people that actually have the EES machine and they actually bought a scaler from me. And I have nothing against connecting devices and you know going all out experimenting like why again why not i'm not telling you that my device is the only device blah 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 you should use exactly <laughs> high in the sky goes es is a ripoff hey hey P you, it is what it is but let's tap into nature because nature and scalar they go well together so in apple there's a torus it's in the shape of a torus field right apple Apple, you see the Taurus feel. You know what else you see the Taurus feel in? Earth. You also see the Taurus feel in the Earth electromagnetic spectrum, right? What else do we see the Taurus feel in? In the quote unquote galaxies, as they say, you see the spiral there. You know what else you see the Taurus feel in as well? We also see the Taurus. That's something that is quote unquote new when it's technically not new in my opinion. A fusion reactor. A fusion reactor is utilizing the the, the torus field. Hey to me. Uh I just uploaded a video with me blasting to me. Shout out to to me. Yeah, she came over, had a whole experience. We did some scalar. And that's, that's her testimony right there. Yo, for real, it got rid of my cramps temporarily. Yeah, so the torus feel is there. So when you're utilizing the scalar projector, you wanna utilize it in, in a spiral movement because when it's utilizing a spiral movement, you know, our bodies start to uh, mirror that spiral movement because on the base at the base of an atom, that is literally how they are formed. So within us, if you want to call it chakras, if you want to call it electrons, 
or if you want to call it just the blood cell itself, it's always spiraling. It's always spiraling, and especially when you look at the microscope and stuff. What what is it? What are they doing? What are what are those little tiny cells doing? Really pay attention to those to, to those viewpoints. They're they're moving like it literally likes you're blobbing and moving, and they're moving in a spiral motion. So it's not that you're just relying on the device. You're utilizing the device to amplify your base resonance and energetic being. That is the point when you buy the projector or buy any scalar, even the scalar stickers, I am giving the scalar movement and breath for free. And I think we're at 11 videos at this point. And there's also guided breath sessions in there that you can follow along and utilize these devices well or not utilize them or just be in the field of them. Because when you expand this internal library, when you utilize scalar, it's going to aid you in that expansion. That's the point. It's not just to rely on the device, but also use the device as an amplifier. Exactly. Your heart pumping blood is also spiraling. Yeah, when you look at the valve, the valve of the heart, and you see how water moves through the heart, it's also spiraling back and forth, back and forth. So they go hand in hand. And I also want to share... All right, so we did the connection there of why when you utilize, especially the projector, you want to utilize it in a spiral motion. I think that is super important. Okay. And we look at electronic spirals. So I'm going to quiet the comment section so we all can read together a little bit. So charge density waves are one of the fundamental examples of the phenomenon yet they can still take on countless arrangements with new structures being discovered even today. In 2010, Dr. Junya Ishoyika, colleagues at Hokkaido University in Japan demonstrated for the first time that the charge density waves within titanium, uh, T, I call it TSIE, which is simple enough to say, could spontaneously formed into spiral structures. This discovery took physicists by surprise, which it shouldn't. I mean, it's in nature. But then we want to split spirituality and science as time went on, right? So, again, this is this discovery took physicists by surprise as there doesn't seem to be anything about an electronic charge that can be rotate as you go along the axis of a spiral. The charge of an electron is just a number, not a shape that can be rotated, all right? So we went electronic spirals. Let's see, what else? Let's, let's dive deeper. Electronic spirals, okay. So the electrons in the outermost orbit, keyword orbit, the electrons are orbiting, spiraling, dictate the chemical properties of an atom. If this orbit is completely full, the atom has a very low chemical reactivity. It belongs to a group of elements known as noble gases. And what are we living in? What are we living in right now? We're living in a world of gases, even though you can't see it. I'm going to pull up that famous video I love pulling up um, after this read. And thank you for the badge, love. All right. So atoms with the with outer orbits that are not full can group together with atoms to form molecular or crystalline crystalline structures crystalline materials in a way we can think of atoms joining together as jigsaw pieces <laughs> atoms with in their outer outer orbit will bond perfectly with atoms that are two electrons short of having a full orbit but even some electrons are left over after bonding has taken place that can be smeared out over the atoms in a crystalline structure. Man, crystals and additional glue resulting in crystals that conduct electricity. So another cool thing I want to share what you can do with crystals. And even for the home scaler, we actually give you guys a quartz crystal to put on the scaler because this crystal, the scalar energy and the Electro energy is also 
emanating into the crystal as well. Another cool thing what you can do with the crystal is hold the crystal while blasting. And what's happening is it's creating more of a scalar effect in terms of the piezoelectric effect. It's because when piezoelectricity goes into crystals, especially when I'm outside and outdoors and you're holding it and you're blasting it as long as you can, you really feel how the sun's magnetic waves is also affecting your home environment as well. Just even saying that my whole left hand is going crazy because I'm literally outside right now. You hear the birds reacting, man. Uh, I was doing an online session and I'm going to, we're going to do a guided breath, uh, a quick little breath session with the end while I'm doing the scaler through the screen. I've been doing that with some of my clients. I'm like, wow, what a beautiful way to amplify the effect because there are people online that does Reiki over, over the screen or whatever. You can do the same exact thing with, with scalar, but amplify that because scalar is in harmony of that type of energy anyway. It's the material world, the spiritual world, all these, all these dimensions as one and utilize them if they can be utilized to its full capacity. With all due respect to people who go out to the mountains or go out to elsewhere, this where, you know, there is a reason, you know, even though that guy said, I can do this all with my Qigong. I'm like, yes, you can, but you can also amplify it while doing your Qigong. Like, why not? Why not? Why not? <laughs> okay. Bro, you're dropping stuff in my crib. <laughs> yeah, why not? And with, again, with all due respect to those, you, you never hear stories of places that hold that type of energy with that many people doing th those type of energy and stuff like that, growing out of season, like things growing out of season. It's only when I've started diving deeper into scalar, right? And actually, there's one temple in, in China that somebody reached out to me, and we actually put their farm onto the scalar. Out of all my testimonials when it comes to farms and harmonizing with farms, that place did the best because at that particular area, it's a temple where they do meditation practices, they do their Qigong practices, but that place out of all the places in the world that have sent pictures of their scalar, that place is growing like there's no tomorrow. Hopefully within a few years, I'll be able to visit that place in China. I have a place to stay in a specific place in China. I'm not going to say where to protect the, um, that particular space. And there's a reason why I didn't even share where, where it is. But in a few years, you know, we're going to visit that place. We're going to have a whole crew of cameras and share what's been happening in that particular area with the power of scalar. So, what I'm sharing is, you know, even though they've been already doing their Qigong practice and whatever, the, the, the soil and the stuff that they have been building isn't been affected as much because the truth is we live on the planet Earth that is, oh, no matter how far you are in the boonies, in the wilderness, it's still being affected by certain EMF towers, certain radiation towers. The soil communicates people. No matter, even in the Amazon till this day, there is forever chemicals. Why is there forever chemicals in the Amazon, in the Amazon river, in the Amazon soil, when they don't even spray chemtrails over there? Why? Because this is one body of earth that we live on. That's why. No matter how far you go out, you're still going to interact with forever chemicals, maybe on a lesser level, but still, it's still there. We got a lot of work to do as a whole community, as a whole collective in helping heal Earth or helping her he heal herself, actually. Um, Earth really doesn't need us to help heal her. It's just that we're here and we're doing all these things without a care in the world harming Earth, which should be the complete opposite. We should have been building things like we once did once a long time ago with earth in mind to amplify what she's already giving up off, us off her, her energy that she's already giving off and build certain things that amplify the energy to help extend our lives like back in the day where people were 
supposedly living hundreds of thousands of years. And one of those things, when I hear those stories or read those tablets, read, read those scriptures, I'm like, well, maybe the environment as well had a lot to do with it. And when you look at these ancient temples, right? Can you imagine the air quality, but not just that, the electric quality within the air and how it affected those temples. And that's why those temples were built the way they were because it would harness the energy on top and then send it into the structures that you saw in those, in, in those ancient Indian temples. But not just that, you see those type of temples in China, in Africa, in Mexico, those temples exist because they were all harmonizing with each other. In my opinion, they were probably using telecom, um, uh, communication via those temples as well, via scalar or wireless, wireless signals. That they were built in certain geometry, built in scalar infusion in mind. They could utilize that as communication. And that's technically what we're doing with our own scalar, with our own network, with the scalar stickers that that we that we place on on the on the scalar plates as well, because we're literally creating our own network of harmonious frequencies to also emanate through that geometry. Why they were destroyed? Not all of them were destroyed. Some of them are so good. Tataria was the last civilization like this. Some say, yeah. And, it, you know, we may look at, quote unquote, ancient places, but we can do and replicate, you know, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. We don't have to always reminisce on the past or look, hey, hopefully in the future, this and that. We're doing it now. Let's focus on what we can do moment as much as possible and utilize the knowledge so it can become wisdom versus just, just reading or just hypothesizing let's experiment let's communicate let's build together right and one of the things i'm focused on building right now i want to share this testimonial well before that let, let's continue uh the informational side real quick and then we'll go towards testimonials and uh the whole scalar connection all right, so physicists, physicists discover spiral vortex patterns from e electron waves, right? So what are we seeing here? We're seeing a pattern here in terms of the vortex energy. And by the way, this knowledge is actually applied in scalar movement and breath in terms of moving in particular ways, in terms of breathing in a particular way, in terms of harmonizing with also nature as well in a particular way. That is why I put scalar movement and breath with every scalar product you get for free. When technically it's like a, at this point, it's almost a $300 package at that point when it comes to scalar movement and breath. And scalar movement and breath will show you how to really utilize certain patterns in your Qigong practice practice qigong or qigong practices or yoga practices and really amplify what those practices are giving but in a way harmonizing with the movement in a more healing way because not even at least with today's qigong today's qigong they don't even talk about utilizing vortex utilizing um specific uh specific resonance when it comes to energy Right? That's why they have like certain chi machines. You ever heard of the chi machine? It's actually a big thing in China right now. It's not actually, see, because they're practicing the Tao. They understand that, you know, they were even utilizing certain, certain levitating products to help build certain temples back then in terms of like the didgeridoo to help levitate certain things with vibration. They were still tools. Right, it's it, it. all boils down to how are you utilizing the tools, not letting the tool use you. Okay. So, here the scientists have reported an unusual pattern of wave interference produced when an electron is ejected or ionized from its orbit around a helium atom. 
like all subatomic particles, keyword all subatomic particles, electrons occupy a realm, a realm governed by quantum mechanics. This means that their po position, velocity, and their properties are probabilistic within a range of possible values. Electrons can also exhibit like, uh, sorry, exhibit the behavior of waves of that, like ripples in a pond often gain or lose amplitude as they cross paths. So the beautiful thing about scalar is there is no disruption when it comes to the waves that are being formed. That's a beautiful thing, unless there's another scalar um, shifting the intention of the previous foundation that the, the previous scalar was giving up. Okay, so you can fight quote unquote scalar with scalar. That's what we're literally doing with what we did with California with that whole flood, with that whole rain. We actually took pictures of the sky and the whole skyline to help negate some of what, in my opinion, maybe weather modifications were doing or giving off to that quote unquote 90 day rain. Talk to, when you talk to ancient, uh, not even to ancient, but quote unquote shamans or people who have have a whole practice with natural law they'll tell you what's happening in california is not natural whatsoever they every single different culture that i, I spoke to about california like no that is not natural whatsoever that is man-made that is man-made how to grow taller <laughs> That's a deep question. That's a deeper question, but I would say scalar, breath, nutrition, stretching, um, a lot of, a lot to do with spinal fluid in, in that regard. All right, let's dive more into, okay, here we go. All right. So by firing two time delayed pulses at the helium atom, the researchers found that the distribution of momentum values for these intersecting electron waves can take on the form of two armed vortex that resembles a spiral galaxy. Though the spiral had been observed in waves of light, the team's study is the first to produce a pattern with electrons. In doing so, it dramatically demonstrates the wave-like property of matter matter what does that mean what is matter matter is everything matter is even your breath there's a reason why we like to breathe with the nose because if you were to split the nose open split the head open and look into the nasal cavity you have the spiral that's how the internal is formed so that is why nasal breathing is so powerful when it comes to harmonizing with every layers of dimensional reality even the, the reality within our bodies, within the reality of how we interact with quote unquote, physical reality, mental reality, color, et cetera. That's why things like mental breath work, things like, that's why I told the person who's reading breath, like you can dive so much deeper than what was being said in breath. I'm actually working on a book right now that is dealing a lot with mental breath work and the workspace. And proper posture, yes, they go hand in hand. But you can have the best posture in the world, you can have the best diet in the world. If your breathing is not on point, it can only do so much. Structured breathing. Okay. Oh, didn't do that. So we'll do, we'll save that one for another live. All right. So guys, any questions? <laughs> so I want to go back into the point I was making. I'm a craniosacral practitioner and I'm diving deeper into CFS. Okay. 
iron. Yeah, I'm working on a book right now. What is the best sleeping posture? Uh, sleeping like a baby. <laughs> Literally. So in, in mental breath work, we talk about, and scalar as well, we talk about closing the circuit. What do I mean by that? What do I mean by closing the circuit? So when you sleep, when you rest, it's, you know, rest or sleep is unconscious breath work. It's unconscious breathing. That's why, you know, they say you do a lot of healing during your sleep, right? So why not turn sleep into a real meditation into, in terms of a conscious meditation? So one of the easiest ways to do that in terms of letting go is closing off the circuit, closing the hands and sleeping in fetal position. And the more you are still, focus on your breathing, going to sleep with intention, etc. When you have your hands closed, you'll start to feel the pulsations from your hands emanate from going to your wrists. And the longer you are focused on keeping the hands closed, you know, while you rest or whatever, you'll start to feel that pulse start to emanate your whole entire body. You'll have deeper rest. You'll have deeper sleep when it's not really sleep at that point, it's conscious meditation, you'll start to realize that sleep <laughs> and getting the body into a, a circadian harmony is two different things. And you'll start to realize how deep rest can really be. And you'll start to realize how sleep and rest are two different things as well. So, you know, doing conscious breathing before going to rest, you know, you'll have deeper sleep as well, because now in a way you're turning it into your unconscious breathing patterns will follow your conscious breathing patterns that you did before going to sleep. So you'll have better rest. And if you're someone that is learning or fighting to breathe only with the nose going to sleep, smile to sleep. That's an easy one to do. You know what, let's actually do that. We're gonna be using the, the plasma projector while uh, we do some serotonin breaths. And I'll, I'll go over that. Any more questions, guys? Let me see if I wanted to go over anything else. Uh, here's a scalar testimonial here too. So, hey Devon, I put my cat on the scalar since one month. His voice was gone and now it's completely healed. Also, his weight increased by 1.5 kilograms. So even being on liquids, you would think I would lose weight dramatically, right? And hence, I'm muscular in my own degree. I don't work out that much, but I work out whenever I can. And I don't go all out in terms of like an hour. I, I actually do micro exercises. That's what I do throughout the day. I just have fun with it. I don't focus on bodybuilding whatsoever. But actually, if you go into the Brea Barbell Breath Iron Experiment, there's neuroscientists that... I was, I still mentor till this day. And, you know, he wanted to experience that. So he, as his calorie intake went lower and lower and lower, he actually gained in mass. And that's what I tell people. You're not just going to lose quote unquote weight. You're losing unhealthy weight and you're going to gain healthy mass. That's the point. Cause you want to have your body balance. You don't want to have too much fat. You don't want to have too much muscle. You know, you got to have fat to a certain degree. And I also want to bring this full circle to, to harmonize with what was being said earlier about utilizing your environment, utilizing the scalar, and how breath also plays a part in this invisible world that everything around us to the air that you touch is quote unquote matter, right? There's one person, if you see the background of this, how he is sharing through Schiller and Imaging a way to make the invisible visible and how your body, your energy is affecting the air particles around you and even your aura. Here's someone blowing out a match. And if you look carefully, even down to his nose, you see that outline? What do you think that is? That's his aura. And his aura is interacting with the molecular structures of the air particles. And look at the side of that cup. Look at, you see the, the glowing side of that cup? What do you think that is? That's, that's or the, here's an empty cup. 
an empty cup is affecting <laughs> the air molecules. I, I need to extend that specific imagery a lot longer because that goes to show you that we don't live in an empty world as, or quote unquote space as you think space is. Everything around you is energy. Everything around you is moving in that spiral motion in the molecular form. So when you're utilizing this, you're also harmonizing your aura. You're also interacting with your aura, just like we showed there. When you're blasting a crystal, the crystal is emanating and then it's emanating with your aura, shifting your aura or your environment. When you're touching a tree, here's a cool thing what you can do with this. When you're touching a tree and you're blasting your hand while you're touching the tree, right? While you have your hands on the tree, you'll start to feel more of the tree even more. And part of me, you know, the more I started to dive into this, the more I started to harmonize with my breath as well, the more I started to question the aspect of the fall of man, where, you know, you, re you read things like the Bible or the Quran, any, any religious or even ancient structure or literature, it tells you the fall of man was consciousness. It wasn't um, like a physical place from heaven, etc. or some may say that but it was also consciousness and the aspect of, you know, we're so, we are so detached. The more we detach from nature, the more we detach from ourselves and quote unquote healthy living. You know, once upon a time, I truly trust the air was so electrically powerful where you didn't need to have that physical density in your body as much. You really don't and, and watch. People who utilize scalar as much and utilizing these technologies and also practicing the breathing, they themselves, without me even forcing them, they'll have healthier lifestyles because they're going to feel more of their body. They're going to feel more of their environment as well and how, like I said, the more you can feel, the more you can heal, right? So if you can feel more of your environment, you can harmonize and utilize the energy, no matter if it's harmonious or harmonious, energy is energy. But what Scalar also teaches you, at least these some of these advices, and also breath itself, is the power to harmonize and not discard or just block. And that in, that in itself, blocking or ignoring, is spiritual bypassing in itself, right? So there's a reason why you guys are here. There's a reason got, why you see these devices it just can't be a coincidence right there's a reason why when i went to the canadelic and i was walking around with the scalar without me advertising anything i was just walking around with it and people were energetically drawn to it especially in that space where people have done plant medicines so they're you know they're aware at least aware or people at least within that space i've noticed also talk about meditation not just taking psychedelics or whatever it was even deeper than that. It was a beautiful thing also seeing that as well, that it wasn't just a space of people just talking about plant medicine, doing this, doing that, but also honoring the aspect of how powerful meditation is and the importance of mental health, which was beautiful. Because I honestly have, I don't have expectations, but there was something deep within me said, oh, maybe it's this way. And they're all taking um, psychedelics and just, you know, being off or whatever, but it was complete opposite. It was complete opposite of that, which was so beautiful to see the advocation for mental health beyond the aspect of just taking psychedelics, but the importance of breathing, the importance of environment, the importance of harmonizing with clean environments and utilizing that for healing overall in general and being in certain business spaces to make the best out of certain spaces as well. So they go hand in hand. Uh, they're, they're not separate whatsoever. I don't think, I don't think they can ever, ever be. It's so funny how it took so long for modern society to finally say, hey, we need to start treating nature this way. We need to start treating. To me, it's a, it's a natural cycle. It's a natural cycle that is echoing from natural law that reminds us energetically, mentally, as the wind starts to pick up, to 
stay focused, to harmonize as much as possible, make use and stop destroying or harmonizing with the destruction of natural law, with natural vibration and emanate with that as much as possible. That is so important. So, you know, just like I'm also sharing that we can also use scalar to also not just farms, but this is also low key helping earth maximize her full potential. Don't you think, you know, seeing the yields that we've seen with farms, what do you think that's doing to that space in general? It's not just, ooh, we're increasing our yield without using chemicals and spending millions of dollars on necessarily poisoning that specific area. Now you don't have to use chemicals. You're utilizing harmonious frequencies, harmonious energy to maximize Earth's potential. So what do you think when you go into that environment, when you do certain practices you're, and, you, and you do that, what do you think is happening? It's amplifying, it's even more healing within those spaces, okay? Another question here. When you said crystal in the corner of the room, can it be? Yeah, it can be any crystal, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It can be any crystal uh, corners are so important uh, do you do you guys remember that testimonial with the guy when he around his house and then his lights started flickering um, I told him <laughs> and I, I commented energy over 9,000 <laughs> it's it's so important to you know when you have those reactions to place a scale or stickers in your corners because what the corners you know going beyond the physical aspect what do corners represent energetically found foundation foundation there's actually hindu scripture that talk about uh corners and i'm still doing research on that because it's so in in captivating when you learn about uh foundational energy and when i was at ross terms when he did his his exhibit here at the art of Mu at the art of Mu at the art museum here in winwood when he was talking about corners man he was giving me such downloads that it was just so much to to take it was like it was like an alien talking to me it was like corners this certain tradition geometry symbols in specific corners have energetic presence in this way and it was just so much so much there's actually a whole textbook this thick on the energy of corners i kid you not so just to simplify everything, corners. And if you look at corners too, they literally look like pyramids. And just that structure alone, flow has energetic energy to it and the aspect of scale it, right? Does it form a grid putting crystals in the corner? Exactly, that's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. <laughs> Loving, I call them locks. I don't, I don't call them dreads. Nothing to be dreadful about. I call them locks. Or uh, I like to say ether. Ether as well is good. All right, we're going to do a little breath session as well. CERN director said on a documentary said she noticed that it's more movement than than when they when they do testing. What CERN director said on a documentary that she noticed that it's more movement when when they do testing. Okay. Yeah, because at CERN, you know what what they do to get the hydrogen collider. You know what's happening, right? It's going in a spiral motion, super sonic speeds to see the black hole, to get a glimpse of what a black hole looks like. In my opinion, I feel that CERN will have a lot to do with time travel, if they haven't already. CERN is going to be part of the time travel initiative, document this. And I'm not the only one saying it. Um, there, there was a long time ago in my, in my uh, conspiracy days as a kid, 
you know, I would be the kid in high school that instead of everyone going to lunch, I'd be in the library, just Googling, researching, reading different books and stuff. There was someone called John Teeter, and he came back in, in time. And this is actually before 9-11 as well. He's actually one of the handful of people that predicted 9-11. There was also Bashar, the Daryl Anker, who quote unquote channels the alien. And some people may see that as demonic or might be a, or his higher self. Even he said it might be my higher self or God, however you want to describe it. If the information helps, it helps. Which it technically did, in my opinion, because he did warn people about 9-11 before it even happened. So, you know, some people may, and it's so funny and it's so unfortunate that channeling may be viewed as demonic when in actuality, we all channel to a certain degree. Really think about it. Your thoughts are not your thoughts. Again, the brain is the receiver. So are you really, quote unquote, creating anything? So if, you know, you want to receive and be a channel or a vessel for Jah, the Most High, or God, however you want to describe your creator, that's what you're doing. That's who, That's what you are channeling. You're not channeling, uh, sorry, you're not creating anything because it's, Think about it like this, if, if you believe in God or Christianity or Allah, however you describe it, didn't God or the creator created you, right? And if they created you, technically your creation of thoughts or art, did it really come from you? Not really, no. <laughs> That's why, you know, even the aspect of Instagram, Instagram wasn't just uh, created actually in ancient Japan, there was actually something similar to quote unquote Facebook and Instagram where people with within the community in different tribes would go to this one wall and write and draw what happened within their day or within the month and draw pictures. What does that sound like to you? Social media. Energy cannot be destroyed nor created. Recycle over and over and over and over. So it also makes you also think what now they're creating these incubators, right? Where you don't need a mom or dad. You can just take the eggs and you take the sperm and then you make the baby without intercourse, right? Hmm. What does that sound like to you in biblical or at least if you read the, the book of, I'm not gonna say the book of Eli, <laughs> the book of Enoch, <laughs> but shoot, the book of Eli is actually based off the book of Enoch, which is very interesting. Um, but uh, I'm talking about the movie with Denzel, Denzel Washington. But now, the Book of Enoch, I'm talking about the real Book of Enoch from biblical uh, motions, and for some reason they take out the Book of Enoch when it comes to the King's James Version and all that. They even took out scriptures from Jesus. Why do you think? Why, why do you think the Catholic Church did that? To control the people in terms of real knowledge about even Jesus utilizing sun gazing, even Jesus utilizing urine therapy, even Jesus utilizing mushrooms. Why do you think the church does that? Or the Vatican, at least, the Vatican. Why is the Vatican so, quote unquote, rich and the people around the Vatican is, quote unquote, poor, right? If they really wanted the people to thrive and survive, that all that gold that sits in the bottom of the Vatican would be spread out all over. Why, why does the Vatican have, have um, stocks and bonds and stuff of that nature in the stock market. Why do they have their money in there? You ever thought about that? There was this movie, and not just this movie, I've seen this numerous times, where behind closed doors, the, the Pope or the pastor, you know, this one question will always come up and say, why do we have hell? You know, why do we we have hell when we're focused on quote unquote healing and all that stuff and why do you talk about that? why do you preach about that etc etc is because the church we quote unquote we invented hell to control and instill fear into the people to believing in us not god not allah us word for word from the vatican you don't have to go to church to have a connection with God. You don't have to do certain things to have a connection with God. Right now, your very breath in this moment 
is your connection with the divine. I'm just a reminder of that. Just reminding y'all. Because if somebody was born blind and deaf, right? Are you going to scorn them and say that you didn't read the Bible? They can't even hear you. They're blind and deaf, right? You didn't read the Bible. You didn't read this scripture. You didn't read that scripture. You're going to hell. Meanwhile, they can't hear you. They can't see you. And internally, they're focused on their heart, their breath, their being. All right, we're back. Their being, their focus on internal harmonization with their creator, even though they were born blind, even though they were born deaf. What are now are now now they are believing in the devil? Are now they no. Especially those people. There's you know, why do there's even a place in Colorado, right? That can teach people that are blind to actually see and drive cars. My friend Phil Dari did, did a whole documentary on it. I, I don't know if he won a um an Oscar for that or something like that. But anyway, no, he won an Emmy, actually. Yeah, he's an Emmy winning um winner but he did a documentary on that and he himself went there blindfolded himself and actually blindfolded the person that was blind just to make sure this was all legit and what were they seeing they were seeing the aura they were seeing the colors to help guide them on the track and actually the blind people did a lot better than Feldari putting on the blindfold and doing himself like driving and trying to feel the energy and all that that, and he has his own two eyes and he has his own two ears. So what does that show you? God doesn't just give up on people who are, are not capable. God is expansive, man. Or Allah or the all that is, however you, the universe, however you want to describe, quote unquote, God or the creator. It's expansive. It's not limited in, in a box. And that's the same thing I'm bringing the aspect of breath, having fun with the breath and not limiting in a box. Can you do this breath work while you're driving? Can you do this type of breathing on an extended basis? Not just let me go in the cold bath. Let me do a cold plunge. Let me breathe like this. All right, I'm good for the day. Can you bring that in your everyday moments in time? Are you quote unquote having fun with it as well? So it doesn't feel mundane and it feels even more expansive. That's what alchemy breathwork is about. Utilizing things like mental breathwork, utilizing the trees and breathing mechanics around you and utilizing the mechanics within your brain and your thoughts with your breath at the same time and building that internal strength, that muscle. So when you go in the, in the world that is quote unquote noisy, the external world won't rule the way you breathe when certain lighting hits you and it spikes up cortisol or certain people around you are breathing in a certain way and affecting your mirror neurons a certain way to cause you to breathe in, this, in that disharmonious way. It's all about taking and harmonizing with your power that resides within you. And you can show me any scripture, any religion, even satanic religion, I can show you breath in there somewhere, which is wild. Breath is in there. Because there are some Christians that may view Quran as satanic or whatever, right? And there are some, some Muslims that may view Christianity as satanic, right? But I can show you the beautiful correlation that brings them both together and hopefully one day we'll stop the war in the Middle East because the war in the Middle East, it's a traumatic connection. It's not just about money. It's not just about territory. It's trauma. It's legit trauma. It's recycling trauma in that specific space. Because you can say energy practices were so high, but then when you flip the switch and you go the complete opposite way of utilizing those energy practices, it creates a dark, dark, dark presence in those environments.
All right, guys, we're going to end it here, but let's do some serotonin breaths while <laughs> I blast the scaler. And uh, Jen is still practicing. So tomorrow, before we tap in, tomorrow we are going to be hosting our official scalar, scalar and breath experience where we're going to be connected with a tree. And I'm going I'm to be running wires from the scalar to the headphones. And someone said, oh, is that Bluetooth headphones? No, they're technically scalar headphones. There's a reason why when I was live with Z, you heard her testimonial when she was wearing it. She felt what she felt like. Some, I don't usually like wearing headphones, but something was, I'm like, they were scaling fused. Z, you remember? <laughs> so everything is intentional when we utilize things like that, especially um, wireless headphones. So that's a beautiful thing about also being outside because everyone will also be grounded as well. And we know that grounding also blocks off EMF radiation and transmute EMF radiation because the body's voltage goes up by uh, 30%. When it comes to grounding are the wires copper yeah they're copper yeah this will be on for replay no worries all right who else is here all right fire okay let's do some serotonin breath this is great to do before going to bed So on your exhales, I want you to smile. On your inhales, let go. And we're also going to utilize the eyes as well. So on the inhales, you're looking down with your eyes closed. It doesn't have to be open. On your exhales, you're looking up and you're smiling. And when you're doing that, now we're implementing the vertical breath with the serotonin breaths as well, because we're going eyes vertically. But when you inhale, where does the breath go? It goes down. When you exhale, where does the breath go? It goes up. So now you're harmonizing with the different dimensions within your body of how that echoes all the way out to your exact aura, into your field. And how you breathe is how you are affecting the environment around you and how the environment is affecting you. Look at that empty cup. That empty cup. <laughs> it's always an empty cup that gets me because it's empty, right? And it has such an effect on mass. It has such an effect on overall energy. So, I don't know if I should blast a crystal now. I'll just blast you guys with harmonious intention. So, get in tune with your breath before we start. We're only breathing only with the nose. Set an intention with your breath. What are you breathing life into? That's the question. Inhaling that intention, exhaling more life into that intention. So I'm going to go over this one last time. On your inhales, your eyes are looking down, face neutral. On your exhales, your eyes are looking up with your eyes closed and you're smiling, all right? When you inhale, I want you to push in your stomach. When you exhale, push out your stomach, and again, smile. Um, when you're exhaling, you can actually just let go, but the main point is to inhale, pushing in your stomach. You can suck in your stomach if you want, but on your exhale, slow it down, pushing out your stomach, all right? And we're gonna start in three, two, go at your own pace, let's go.
Now breathe in silence where you can't hear the breath at all. Still breathing only with the nose. Let the inhale come in naturally. Really slow down the exhale as it comes out. Deeper and deeper exhales. Let the inhale come in naturally. Still breathing only with the nose. Breathe where you can't hear the breath at all. Hmm. How are we feeling? Battery's about to fall off, but still going. Might do one more round for people who are just joining. Greetings, greetings. Yeah, we'll do one more round. Might have to go get my charger. She goes, relax. Great success. Fire. Rich Rising. What's going on, Nina? Ama says, wow. Good. Heated and buzzing. Fire. It was fun and very nice. I did this laying in bed. Yeah, we're gonna go one more round. I gotta get my charger. My hands started to tingle at the start. Why? You see, it's great to just feel scalar rather than just me just talking, right? Feeling, man. Feeling gives you more of an in-depth perspective than talking or trying to communicate in, in that regard in terms of verbal because 90% of communication is nonverbal. So always remember that. So when we can communicate via movement, via breath, it's powerful. It's powerful. It gives you things your body need at a deeper level than just talking in therapy. No, no offense to therapists, but you know, yeah. it's so important that even therapists today start implementing breath and not just talking or some type of different bodily communication to help draw out some of that trauma or some of that pain someone is feeling you know it's so it's so important gracias all right guys i'll be back give me one second Where's everyone, where's everyone from? I do have some new followers here. Holistic healing, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you for the badge, love. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, let's do maybe two more rounds. Are you guys up for that? Let me do two more rounds. If you're just joining, we were doing some serotonin breaths with some vertical movement via eyes. So, Spain, California, Arizona, fire, North Carolina, wow. Texas, <laughs> Ohio, Germany, hey. So I'll be in Europe in October. So definitely be on the lookout. Definitely join the Breathful Newsletter. Um, this Thursday, we have guided golden, uh, guided frequency breathing. We're gonna focus on the golden ratio so that'll be fun kenya hey kenya england israel oh tim you're from israel that's fine louisiana netherlands wow jersey living in peru now fire. yeah i used to live in jersey too quebec canada are you coming to california mm, maybe maybe the only reason why I'll go 
California is, um, I don't know, I might do another another event there, but it would have to be maybe during the summertime. I might do something with Amarion if he's open for it. So I might do something in Cali if that comes about. Are you coming to NYC in the near future? I don't, I don't think I'll touch the tri-state unless it's summer. That's about it. Harmonizing reality. Or, yeah. Yeah, not, yeah, I don't know about touching the tri-state. <laughs> if anything, I'm going to host way more events than I ever did here in Miami as much as I can. Because uh, a lot of people have been hitting us up. Also, yeah, we also do private events. If you have a saltwater pool, we're not going to be doing it in a chlorine pool. At least saltwater. Because even in the saltwater, you know, everyone really felt the difference in the saltwater. Because it's already saltwater. But when the scaler is going into the water, it's now shifting the saltwater to technically scalar water. And it's harder to do with chlorine than salt than salt water and salt water is honestly better for the body obviously and by the way did you know there are certain places in miami or certain companies that utilize salt water pools without chlorine they do exist so please they, they exist you can do your own research on that hey cosmic heart all right, guys, so let's tap into a couple more rounds, and I'll be blasting the scaler. So on the inhales, again, your eyes is looking down towards your nose with your eyes closed. They don't have to be open. And you can also do this while walking if you want with your eyes going back and forth. Um, you can also do this to sleep specifically. This is, this is one of my favorites, going to sleep or rest turning sleep into a restful meditation all right that this is how to do it because your subconscious breaths will then turn into it'll follow the conscious breaths that that you picked up on I changed my whole pool to salt water and it felt so much better on my skin. Hey, we have one person right here. That's fire. Can you heal without removing? Removing what? Metals in the body from injury injuries. Yeah. You can definitely do that. Um, but honestly, at a certain point, it's best to get it removed when you're when you when you're close to that point i know one person did hip surgery and he has like metal metal stuff in his body and it took him years but he got to the point where he could actually take them out and heal naturally and fill up um, certain cartilage um, in the body so it is possible don't don't ever fall for something not being possible and with that regard too you know you really would also want to focus on heavy metal detox as well when it when it, when you unfortunately if you have it like that so that's another thing and he was also utilizing scalar as well running heavy metal detox programs consistently on an everyday basis so that's a beautiful thing about the scalar too you know you can run it 24 7 365 even while you're sleeping have a wire running from the scalar onto the body if you want to get that electrical therapy as well like I said, you can get an earthing mat, run the copper wire into the earthing mat, and change your earthing mat into a PEMF device. And actually, what's funny is there's actually PEMF programs on the scaler already. I just found that out, which is so funny. And so you don't really even need to buy a $30,000 PEMF device. Like I said, I want this scaler into many many homes businesses by the way if you're a massage therapist imagine having the scalar mat running to certain frequencies and while you're massaging that person they can feel how the electrical impulse is coming from your hand but also into their bodies as well 
and also in a way it's also cleansing the energy that you're interacting with as a massage therapist because i do hear that a lot you know about my hands and dealing with other people's energies etc all right guys so on the inhale your eyes are looking down towards your nose eyes closed on the exhale your eyes are looking up and you're smiling inhale come back to neutral exhale smile looking up and on your inhale push in your stomach filling it up and then on the exhale let go smile and elongate that exhale extend that exhale as long as you possibly can the exhale should be a lot longer than your inhale all right when you go own pace you don't have to follow me we're gonna harmonize though i'm gonna be blasting the scaler at you so we're gonna start in three two one let's go breathing only with the nose breathe where you can't hear the breath at all let the inhale come in naturally and really slow down the exhale relax the facial muscles in your body just completely neutral relax the eyes feeling the contrast of what you just did Exhaling more life into harmony, structure, progression. Inhaling that energy. And let's go one more round. Go at your own pace. Starting in three, two, one. breath at all deeper and deeper exhale Let, letting the inhale come in naturally longer and longer exhales slow it down Sharing the breath, man. These birds are reacting. Somebody just came over. Hmm. How are we feeling?
how are we feeling? And if anybody wants to hop on live and share their experience and any questions you have about Scalar as well, let them fly. And remember this, sorry, next Thursday, well, te technically this coming Thursday is this Saturday. So this coming Thursday, we're having an online event, Frequency Breathing Golden Ratio will be the theme. Calm and serene, fire. Like tearing up. Oh. Someone's crying right now. Okay, fire. Mm. Thank you. Feeling me. Oh, I love that. Yes, that's you. You're feeling more of yourself. Beautiful. Thank you for this. First time doing it with you live. That was lovely. Kingdom of Pineal charged with infinite eternal light. Fire. Should connect the scalar to some lunar draws. <laughs> Feeling good, relaxed. Thank you. My cat liked it too. Fire. Yeah, do you guys want to hop on live and, and share or any questions you have? I think it'll be a long time before I go live again. My cat liked it too. Thank you. Fire. <laughs> ah, someone goes so we get charged in sleep yeah this is great to do before going to sleep and why not smile to sleep and when you're doing that you're also training the muscles in your body to keep your mouth shut so you don't have to do no taping you don't have to do um you know you don't have to do any of that or that big device that keeps your mouth shut why not train the muscles in your body to you know keep it shut and also smile and when you're doing that you're releasing the serotonin there's a reason why we did the contrast where you're going neutral and you're going back you're going neutral you're going back so you can feel that that secretion of what serotonin feels like and when you actually do it around 9 p.m to 11 p.m within that window right 8 to 11 p.m within that window if you do that breathing within that window you'll actually feel what melatonin feels like because that around that time especially after sunset you know that's the rhythm that will start to produce more melatonin so when you do it around that time you'll expand that melatonin release even more with structured breathing in that way and you don't have to tell take no damn melatonin pills because unfortunately we're we're in a space of reality where kids are overdosing and parents are giving their kids melatonin pills when they don't really need to and all that stuff and it's it's a sad reality that we're living in but that's the truth yes this was new and different thank you fire exactly the body heals itself the the scalar the the, the breathing allows the environment to help shift and allows the body to heal itself in a more amplified way or in a more structured way that's what it's doing. The scalar isn't healing you. The herbs isn't healing you. It's the environmental resonance that it's creating within the body to allow the body to heal itself. That's why even dry fasting is pretty powerful as well when done right. Especially when you add the breathing to whatever fast you do is so important. Should be putting scalar sticker on my electrical box in the home. Gratitude for sharing scalar frequency. I'm gonna pin this comment. Yes, yes, uh, that's a great spot to actually place scalar and also tensor rings as well at the power box. Um, you'll also notice your your power bills dramatically going lower and lower, <laughs> especially when you put scalar sticker on there, tensor rings on there, um, shungite crystals on there all those things you'll notice your power bill hopefully getting lower and lower so that's a that's a plus that is such a plus and it's more harmonizing for your whole entire home as well shoot your breaker box Ooh, i just thought about that your breaker box placing harmonizers on your breaker box is also great too especially if you live in apartments place it around there oh in apartments they're so easy to to also structure water in a sense too so by the way guys if you have 
the home scaler, what you can do is run a copper wire from the home scaler and wrap it around the pipe wherever your water supply is mainly coming from. So that's another thing you can do. And please, please give me some feedback on that. Please, I'm going to cut that part out and make it into a reel. But yeah, give me some feedback on that. That's another thing you can do, especially if your piping is copper, which is, which is definitely the way. Because there's a community in Ghana that is using copper pipe, and, and I'm actually installing scares with, with each home that they build. So I'm just honored to even be part of that project as well. And it's beautiful that they're using copper pipes because now I can run, have them run copper pipes, not just from the home or wherever the pe pe people are sleeping, but run those specific programs and frequencies into the pipe. And, and when you're doing that, now you're having structured water, what you're bathing with and what you're showering with, all that stuff. And the beautiful thing, it's running water. And that running water has an effect on, quote unquote, if you want to call it feng shui of the house, etc. That's what's happening. Do you think tobacco coming is going to work with your breath with this practice? Eh, it, it's, it's contradictory to use smoking with <laughs> the breath work, honestly. Um, but here's another thing. Here's what you can do with the cannabis. You can use cannabis oil and take it orally. You can take it orally and then utilize the breathing in that way and amplify the real deep effects of what cannabis can do versus just smoking it. Because think about it, you're smoking it, you're burning uh, certain elements of the plant, which is why the I told the real rasas, in my opinion, I don't say real rasas, but the I told rasas, you know, they don't smoke they use it in different ways in terms of putting it on the body. Um, I call it Jesus oil where you get the cannabis, you get essential oils, you soak it. You can use urine as well mixed in there because that's technically what Jesus did. Um, if you have medicinal mushrooms as well, here's something else you can do. You don't even have to physically take the mushrooms. You can actually soak the psilocybin mushrooms in there as well with the cannabis cannabis with the essential oils as well and you can rub that oil that tincture that you made onto the pineal gland and the pineal gland is not really here you can rub it on top but mainly it's actually in the back that soft that's like the softest entry to the pineal gland and that is where you want to that's where you want to rub it in it's literally where if you run run your hands up it's that middle point of where your neck is going to. That is where that soft point on the back of your head, that is the softest entry to the pineal gland. And our ancestors, what they used to do too, is get a copper pole or a, a, a staff that's made of copper and certain material, and they would stick it deep in the ground, like they did with the pyramids, deep in the ground, and have that energy flowing, because copper is conductive, have that energy flowing, and then they the person would lay on this prong that would be pointing directly into the pineal and they would just lay there and receive that specific energy coming from the earth that is how you utilize scalar energy in that regard and that's what we're doing sunday as well and to a certain degree <laughs> yeah magic mushrooms because jesus was using magic mushrooms he was using um amanita i don't even know how to say the, the second one he's using amanita the amanita mushrooms which is technically psychedelic. I live in a house and have a water tank heater. Can I put copper wire around it? Yeah, you can put copper wire around it. That's a great, yeah, please do that. Like I said, have, have fun with it. I expand when it comes to scalar and there's so many different use cases for it, so many. Where do you hold classes? Online, Breath Family. The members group is, uh, link is in the bio, alchemybreath.work. So I hold classes in there webinars, seminars, that's all in Breath Family. Or unless you want to come to an in-person event, then you would fly out to Miami because mainly most of my stuff is here in Miami. Honestly, I don't feel that we're going to be, I don't really feel called or I don't feel that there will be time at, this year for some reason that we'll be doing a cross-country trip again. 
I don't feel it. <laughs> do you ship your? No, I don't make the Jesus oil. I don't. I don't make it and ship it. No, no, no. That's something you guys do by yourself. I do not have or uh, sell cannabis. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm saying when you have it yourself and you get the cannabis, you get the oil, and you at least soak it for at least three days, at least soak it for three days and then start utilizing it, you're going you're gonna to see the difference. And utilizing it also rubbing it in the belly button as well because the belly button, it has over 60,000 nerve endings as well. So it's very receptive and will absorb it right into the intestines and then send that shock wave because the belly button's the center. Belly button's the center point. You know, whenever I hear that Jesus helped heal with the mud, in my opinion, what is mud made out of? Why is, you know, there's so many healing properties to mud itself as well, by the way. So many. Um, especially at geothermal springs, when you're in those beautiful, warm, springs that's naturally formed from a volcano there's mud on the bottom of that and you're supposed to rub yourself around it and get very clean sparkly skin <laughs> and absorb uh those beautiful healing properties from the mud on the skin um what's essential oils plants right what, what's mud it's breakdown of basically plants not just quote unquote dirt i mean there's so many micro worlds and universes within the soil we're gonna have a i'm gonna do a podcast with a sister of mine that is learning about that building up her own farm <laughs> yeah if anybody wants to hop on live and share their experience of what they just said with the breath please do does scalar have a frequency program that makes me feel natural high like cannabis uh yeah so if so what you're asking is Long story short and simple, simple answer, yes. You can actually type in. That's actually what I did for that, that pool party. I actually typed in marijuana frequencies because that was a highlight of, um, of the whole event, event week with uh, Sen and Kush because they talked about cannabis over there. So I typed, you can type in cannabis or marijuana into the program frequencies. And it's more, more so the more medicinal. It's not just to get high. Come on. Let's not focus on just getting high. The, the high itself comes from living a natural, healthy, healing lifestyle. You should be naturally, quote unquote, high all the time. Naturally high, if you know what I mean. Because life itself is psychedelic. I got 30 minutes. Yeah, look, look at all these colors, how psychedelic life is. Greetings, brother. Can you hear me? Uh, greetings, brother. Blessings. Bliss and harmony. Bliss and harmony. Mm. Did, did you tap into the, the eye breathing that we did, the serotonin breaths? Yeah. That yeah was, how was that for you? Man. That was truly beautiful. I could I could feel the like the endorphins just synthesizing through through my pineal. Just the chi elevating through all the chakras and the, uh, yeah, the, just the cycles of light eternally shifting. It's beautiful, truly. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Of course. I, I, uh, I really, I'm thankful for the, the practices that you project out for the people, for yourself and just for the betterment of the collective. Thank you, brother. That means, means a lot. Appreciate it. Of course. And thank you for having me part of your journey. It's amazing. Harmonizing. Mm. Do you have any more questions, brother? No, nah, I just, uh, just wanted to hop on here and share that. And uh, really, every time I'm on this live stream, you can just feel the energy pulsating and harmonizing so may that continue Cheers. to occur and it definitely will i'm breathing um, more life into it peace brother the growth is going to continue peace oh 
Like it's a great testimonial for itself. I mean, at the end of the day, guys, they, they're 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 called for a reason, right? In terms of psychedelics, plant teachers they teach. And and um, even when I did ayahuasca, I was doing breath work the whole entire time. I feel like if I didn't do the the breathing practices that I did, I wouldn't have seen even deeper visuals and feel what I felt on Aya when I did Aya uh, during those ceremonies. And that's why some people also want me, they'll, they'll even want to fly me out so they can, so I, I can at least be around them and do the breathing around them while they take Aya for their first time, whatever they need it for, or any type of plant medicines in that regard. Because, you know, even in the first ceremony when I did it, and this is what prompted me to make subliminal breathwork music because it was people hearing it was people hearing the sound of my breathing and the breathing practice that I was doing that helped them push through in terms of the the traumas that was coming up during their ceremonies and during uh, their experiences on Aya and that for me was this confirmation of how powerful the sound of cultivation of the breath and how much intention comes with the breath. I view what I do with sublime breathwork music with someone who has been singing for over 10 plus years and have been working on that vocal cord, like uh, my friend Mila, who has beautiful, powerful voice. Check out, check out our app, it's called You Tune In, or Tune In, check it out. And when you hear her sing, you, you just know for a fact this woman has cultivated so much energy and, and emotion into the power of her voice. And by the way, she used to be like a big time, you know, pop singer type of thing. And then she migrated into more of the healing space with her voice. And it's so angelically beautiful and powerful. Like she's, she just, she's just one of those voices and you can tell it's intention and energy that's coming out of what she's vocally projecting. Same thing applies with literally every breath that I, I record, that I record. What's my human design? Apparently I'm a generator, but I don't just. Greetings, man. What's this say? Hold on. Oh, Yo, hey, oh, what's up, brother? Hey. How are you? I'm great, man. Fire. And you? Fire, fire. Yeah, yeah. Did, did you tap into the breath? How was your experience? Yes, yes, yes. I really loved it. <laughs> You have any you have any questions for me? Um actually yeah. Um I have diabetes type one mm, okay. and uh um I heard that you had someone to uh heal the diabetes type one by himself. Yeah. And, uh, I, I didn't uh, help heal, I just, I just guided. <laughs> Keyword guided, not yes. medical advice, frequency advice. <laughs> Wink, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you have any advice yeah. uh, how you so, can heal yourself? So I will say breathing in general as a foundation is very important to help regulate your glucose in the body. But when you're doing that, what you're also doing is you're also structuring your blood when it comes to different types of breathing as well, when it comes to like things like frequency breathing. And when, you, when I look at specific frequencies in in the scalar programs, when it has everything to do with diabetes, you know, those particular sequences and numbers are so important uh, when it comes to overall healing. And one of them is still 528. Uh, so even uh, simple frequency breathing with 528 is very, very powerful in that regard. So also utilizing scalar is also super important because there's so many studies when it comes to microcurrent and helping to mitigate and harmonize quote-unquote diabetes and transmute that so with the scales you can run type 1 diabetes to the program and run a copper wire and wear it while you're sleeping and you yourself will see 
the the differences but what i did with that guy on wall street is i actually took a video of the scaler and ran type 1 diabetes programs because with scaler you guys you can project it to the screen because that's what that's what we're doing that's what we did and when you look at the patent of hgtv it actually talks about you can project certain waves to the screen and stuff and the phone itself is an hd television so what i did was because he didn't believe in all that so while he was away at home uh, while he was away on wall street working on wall street i had him place the phone uh projecting his water i gotta go soon projecting his water and running those specific scalar scalar impulses into the water and structuring the water so when we when he would come home he would drink the water and now he's drinking program frequencies that has everything to do with type one and then in two weeks he saw his insulin um, that he has to take went down dramatically. He didn't really have to take as much anymore. And it just kept on decreasing, 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 decreasing. And then he was like, man, what else can I do with this? So then I had him play it in the background of his office space while he was working. And it was the most calmest, most relaxing experience he's ever had at his 20 plus years working on Wall Street. So um, if people out there, there cannot afford the home scaler device now i highly suggest because i don't do the the scalar video anymore i mainly do scalar water because scalar water is more practical it lasts longer and you don't have to have the screen turned on so you can program the water with specific uh type one so there's an option that you can either buy scalar water that that has like the emf detox chemtrail detox by itself and all those or you can buy the $200 one that you get four bottles and then I can program type one in there and also DNA healing and so many more different frequencies that the person may need. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Peace. All right, guys. And harmony. All right, guys, I got to jet out of here. If you guys found value in this in any way, uh, send me a DM and on your experiences. I would appreciate that as well. Or leave a comment and also share this video. All right. And you can find information on Scalar, more updates on Scalar on the website, alchemybreath.work. I updated the website where it's all the main devices are literally on there on a click of a button. It's, it's easier for people that way. And um, if you want the rest of the devices, like the infrared and stuff like that, then you just click the biohacking part. But the main ones that, like the frequency breathing, scalar stickers, scalar water, um, consultations now, I do that. Now, I didn't do that in the past. And even with my productive schedule, I'm still, I now offer consultations, okay? So a lot of people have been asking about that. It's there. All right, it's there. It's affordable as well. If you can't do like a one-on-one, -on -one, at least you can do consultations. It's there. All right. So any other questions you have, DM me or set up a consultation if you really want to dive in deeper or set up a one-on-one. -on -one. And also any one-on-ones over three months or the Brett Dojo or the one year not just a regular one-on-one, -on -one, everything except the one-hour one-on-one. They get free scalar support and therapy where if I'm working with you, and let's say just like that gentleman is dealing with type 1, I'll consistently be sending him type 1 scalar-infused water, right? Let's say you're dealing with um, something like alcoholism or certain addictions. There's actually programs and frequencies like that. But not only that, I'll actually go through a one-on-one -on -one session right and run those particular frequencies and have the video camera facing the water where it is so now you're imprinting the sound of your own breath your own essence and your own intention while we're going back and forth and even i was dealing with someone that was religious as well where you've been doing their own prayers and we're breathing more life into their prayers and infusing the water and focusing on what they need to heal etc with those particular frequencies and then i'll ship out that water to that person as well Okay, so there's so many different ways of playing with it. I just wanted to let that be known that I do offer that for free when it comes to everything except the one hour. All right. All right, guys, have a breathful day.
I wanted to go to Miami the longest. Yeah, I'll be this year. It's going to be a lot of events. It's going to be a lot of online events as well, more consistently this year. And I'm having fun with it. The point is to have fun. Have fun. Don't forget. Peace and harmony.